the, the Muslim American father who'd lost his, his right. son in, in Iraq. Very controversial uh, issue and mm -hmm. controversial because of Trump's response to that. And again, it's hard to say how much of this is political theater and uh, how much is being played up and, and distorted, but Trump's response, um, which again, if it, he was under attack, that's the guy was waving the Constitution and said, you've lost nothing. So we can see at that moment, Trump sustained a narcissistic injury that anybody would experience. I think that's a universal occurrence if, if you were attacked in that way. What we want to think about is how he responded. And I think what the Congresswoman says that Trump's response shows an inability to see the other. That he continued to maintain the role to see the father and his wife as part objects. If he had said something akin to, you know, um, I, uh, I, 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 you, your son gave the ultimate sacrifice for his country. Um, I, I hope that you can be proud of him, and I certainly am. And, I disagree with the things that he said, and I really think that maybe he and I should sit down and talk. And if we did, I think he might see that I am much closer to the way that to what he believes, or whatever. He could say something right, like that. Right, right, sure. But if you'll notice, in res that sort of response requires the capacity to be able to see the other. And you could say, and I think that's part of what she's trying to say here, is that his response was one of he continued to be focused on his own injuries and not so much on the person in front of him.